Such videocy. Hey everybody, welcome to Videocy, it's Maddie. Dolan. Back playing Final Fantasy as you can well see, and as you can also see, we have run into not one, not two, not three, but four Berettas. Now you've seen us take on the Desert Beretta before, but this is the Beretta Beretta, I guess, or just the Beretta. These are apparently an extremely rare enemy. In fact, I don't ever recall seeing them Very rare. before in Final Fantasy until tonight. We are in the desert uh, surrounding the Mirage Tower. We were actually going in search of a Tyrannosaur, but uh, we got a Beretta, so we're going to try to take yes, them out. they have Mother Brains on the back. I don't, uh, is there anything particularly good against them, or should I just... Uh, mm, well, the on? thing that told me they were very rare is it's easiest to defeat them with the regular attacks. Cool, and that's what we'll go with. You just punch that dude. One down. And they're also weaker than the desert brothers. But they give more XP. They, they couldn't hardly not give more gold since the desert brothers only give one or one gill, I'm sorry. Or uh, two gills. Gill. What, what, no, two it's, gills. It's, it's just gill, regardless, right? There's no S on the end. <laughs> two gills. <laughs> I want two gills. How do you breathe? Through my two gills? <laughs> Alright. Fixing to wrap this one up. Not the video, just about. Uh, we're having the video! And we did it. 1428 experience for each one of us. Whoa, 1200 gil. gil. That's, not, that's really not that much. 1200 gil? gils? I that can much. breathe forever! But that is a bunch of experience. I just want to say that I'm not sure that these Berettas are all that rare. Even though, yes, in fact, I had never seen them before we started recording tonight. Or technically, right before we started recording. Because we found them and then we started recording. This is the second time we've run into a group of four of them in about seven minutes. And I really probably should have healed Maddie up before we started this fight. Wow, they're strong. Sissy's dead. Watch, watch, I'm gonna punch one. Well, crap. Dead. Good thing I kept Maddie alive since he gained a level. Okay, now you can see that Lexi is once again dead. She's not still dead from the last battle. We actually went and brought her back to life. And then we came back to the desert and we ran into this fucker who took her out with one hit. And apparently this is also a rare enemy in the game, so we wanted to detail our encounter with it just in case we don't... Well, that was quick. It took me longer to explain that than it did for me to kill it. Yeah, these guys are really rare. Literally. Sandworm, Desert Beretta, then Sandworm again. And he ran away! Once again, thinking they're not that rare. Enemy. We've run into three sandworms now, actually four since this is a group of two, in six battles. Once again, no. I'm disputing the rareness of these creatures. They're not red. And this is why you don't listen to wikis. Although, as I say, I don't recall ever having seen them before, but... Okay, we're giving up on looking for the Tyrannosaurus for right now. We're gonna hop in the airship. Go do what we need to do in order to uh, enter the Mirage Tower and take on that fiendish... Fiend. ...of when Tiamat. Now, we got the Rosetta Stone. Yes. A few episodes ago. We're gonna take it here to Melman and go see Dr. Oon, I believe is his name. Oon! Dr. Oon! Which is not you. He's not the better man? No, there he is. I am Dr. Oon. <gasps> Let me see that stone slab. Why, if it isn't the Rosetta Stone. I can teach you Spanish now. My dear no nothings. This stone is the key to unlocking the mystery of the Lupinian language. Okay. Hmm. Yes, of course. Eureka, I've got it. Okay, you learned it that it's fast? It's an arcane language, but I suppose I can teach it to you. I hope you can appreciate such knowledge. <clears throat> there, now you can even speak the Lufinian tongue. Okay, let me repeat what just happened.
Okay, do I know Lufinian now? I guess we'll find out in just a minute. When we go <laughs> okay, now we can't land too close to Lufinia. We're actually going to have to take a little bit of a walk. <laughs> there it is. But you have to land up here by the lake. Now, I do believe that Tyrannosaurs spawn around this lake, so maybe this walk won't be a complete <laughs> waste of time. Maybe we'll get lucky and run into a Tyrannosaur. Am I speaking Lufinian? <clears throat> we're in a we're we're in a forest and we run two desert berettas. That doesn't even make sense. I just didn't feel like fighting right now. Am I speaking Hey, some giants. We can handle them. No joke. We learned the Lufinian by him jumping and us putting our hands up. So, like, jump, jump. I have a question. Jump, jump. Crisscross to make you. Jump, jump. Mac Daddy make you. So, jump, jump. So, I have a question. How am I learning Lufinian from this? Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna speak this whole episode in New Finian. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Welcome to Maddie Plays BC, everybody. I'm Maddie. I'm by myself today. Oh, oh by myself. Oh, 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 is this a mirror? Does it kind of look like they have little bird faces on the arms? Mm, I think it's just you. It looks like they have like a bracelet and uh, combined with a shadow on one of the muscles. It looks like a little beak and an eye. I want to know why the giants in this game float. Oh! Oh! oh. Because they have like ten abs. That makes you float? Yes! You get that many abs. So they don't have that many abs. If you get that many abs, you just stop floating. <clears throat> if you get a ton of abs, you just float. They remind me of Martian Manhunter. You have so many abs that you just float. Oh, because of the Martian Manhunter, either one. Oh! <coughs> Okay, we've reached it, Lufinia. Okay, let's see if I'm uh, speaking it. We are the Lufinians. In ancient times, we were known as the Sky People. Ah, that vessel of yours is called an airship. Our ancestors built and used it long ago. I guess we'll never know if I'm speaking Lufinian. <clears throat> Take a look at your reflection in the water. What's a grimy face? Wash it with my water. What the fountain speaking? Hey, let me talk to him. We have a legend. It is said that in 400 years, four warriors of light would appear and save our people. So in 400 years, check back with us and see if they've come. The light warriors, the legend was true. I think I'm speaking <clears throat> to him. Yeah, I don't think there's... I think the only thing here is a couple of magic shops that have magic that we'll never be able to use because you have to be a black mage or a white mage. The castle floating high up in the sky is the Flying Fortress. It was once home to our ancestors. The Tower of Mirage is its entrance. I'm totally speaking to him. Wow! 400 years ago, our civilization reached new heights. We turned our eyes to the heavens and reached for the stars, but all that is lost now reduced to mere memory. Do I have to talk to those guys? The push them. There's one in particular we have to talk to. Press up on him, he'll walk faster. Uh, honestly, and I think it's actually on the other side. The flying fortress drifts among a sea of stars. Wow! Earth, fire, water, and wind, these four forces shape the world in which we live. We were blessed with the power of wind. With it, we suspend the castle in the air. Wow! Wow! Our ancestors created robots. I wonder if they still work. But that's a foreign one? Wow! Yep. The sky people pass down the memories of the past and the ritual. But over the course of 400 years, those memories have grown dim. Clearly my character the one actually speaking to him. Mo! 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 Oh, curse you NPCs. Mo! Yeah, see. 
And I'm almost positive it's like level 8 magic that we can't use. Yeah, life 2. But it's only the white wizard. No, no, we get life 1. I think that's level 7 magic. And then just for the record, flare, but it's only the black wizard. The strongest one. Oh! <clears throat> I'll be Lufinian. Fall. Oh. We can't believe there was another culprit behind the four fiends. We sent five warriors to seek him out, but they never returned. Wow. And that's a key bit of backstory there. We bravely faced Tiamat, but failed to defeat it. The fiend must still be in the flying fortress now. Question is Garland one. Did he betray him? No. Okay. Who is Garland? Five of our bravest warriors were our last hope. They still live, but have been turned into bats. Well, way to fucking spoil things, man. Wow. Our power, the power of wind, has been taken by Tiamat. Wait, did you say that early on? Wow. Oh, take the spell. Use it to enter the Tower of Mirage. Why is all... Why is all for our bell? Obtain Taco Bell. <laughs> we'll find Taco Bell. Now we can sell taco when I make lots of money. Also, let's find Peace, we're out of here. We got a Taco Bell franchise now. Also, let's find a little All right, come on, game. Give me a Tyrannosaur on the way back. That would be really nice. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And Tyrannosaur. You gotta speak Kalufinian. Nope. You gotta speak Kalufinian. Paul Wow, Paul Wow, you know how annoying that's going to be? The one poor troll is like, get me out of here, man. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like you. The Necrotars are just a reskinned Minotaur, and I've never quite figured out their face. Looks like a angry fish. It's really weird. Oh, we've got a bunch of guilt for that. Okay, will you please stop? Uh, wait, I gotta do the ancient turn of so cold. Sound like Dory trying to speak whale. That's damn some kind of It'd be funny if that was Tyrannosaur. Call the wild brother ump, there it is. <laughs> Hey, somebody came to love <gasps> Not these fellas. Did I accidentally do the desert bread call? <laughs> I'm a bit off on my Lufinian. And Lexi's. And since he's a bit off on her life. Guess we're heading back to Cornelia for a spell. We're getting a spell? Hey, speaking of spells. Still no magic in level 7. Come on, Casey. The cats are coming. I'm pretty sure we won't find Tyrannosaurus in the water. No, I know. I'm out. <laughs> I've only heard they can spawn at Bahamut's place in the desert. We just found it in the first. Yeah, they're real rare. 
Đó Gia Gì Gia Gì Gia Gì Đi Oh It's the wrong skin <laughs> That's racist <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, I'm the least racist person you know. You are not a tyrannosaur. Are you speaking Huddies over there? Has somebody went up a level? Casey, maybe? Right. right on the airship. Be a Tyrannosaur, please. You know, I'm not even fighting you guys. I'm out. All right, everybody. Well, we're going to call the video for this week. We're sorry it wasn't more exciting, but hey, we did run into some rare enemies. Wow. Uh, join us next time, please, when we will make our assault on the Mirage Tower. And hey, if we're lucky, maybe we'll run into a Tyrannosaur. Oh, well, my but anyway, in the meantime, we hope that you enjoyed this video as well as our entire Let's Play of Final Fantasy. Please don't hesitate to check out all the rest of the videos that we bring to you. But hey, I don't have to tell you all how to YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll be back with more videos before you know it. But for now, I am Maddie. Dylan. And we will video see ya. Peace out, y'all.